hello everyone and welcome to my channel i just want to say thank you so much to all of my new subscribers and if this is your first time clicking on my video hello welcome to my channel today's video is going to be all about me checking in on my monthly budget just to make sure that i'm on track for next week when i get paid so if this seems like something you're interested in please just keep on watching okay so to get started this is the monthly view this weekly check-in is going to consist from Friday the 3rd to the 9th, that's week one, and then the 10th, which is when I got paid up until the 16th, and today is the 17th. So we're just gonna cover these two weeks for my check-ins. I do like to do my check-ins, I guess, bi-weekly. Every two weeks I check in just to make sure that all of the bills are covered. So that is how I check in for my budgets. So first we have rent and rent was paid so that's a check PSENG um was paid that's a check netflix paid wells fargo got paid hulu got paid paid my heartland apple took their money and i paid dental so that's good all of the bills are covered from this week so now i'm just going to check in um on my bi-weekly check paper that i made Okay, so this is my paper that I like to use for my weekly check-ins just to see how things are going. So these are for the weeks. So right here for week one, as I said, this is going to be for April 3rd to April 9th. And then week two is going to be April 10th until... April 16th okay and then my starting balance at the beginning of this month for groceries I had in my envelope $20 and I just wrote this down because I wasn't making videos at this point I was just keeping track gas I had 30 and spending I had $15 all right, so that's the setup. So first going in to April 3rd to April 9th, that pay week, I did not get paid this week, so I did not add anything to these. Oh, sorry, I didn't even write the categories. So I track my groceries, my gas, my spending, and then I have unbudgeted. Okay, so as I said, I did not get paid this week, so no money got added to these envelopes. However, I did spend the 20 that was in this grocery, and then gas, I did not spend anything for gas, I was in the house. Spending, I spent $7, and I'm budgeted, I did not spend anything. And I just keep track of my spending on like my phone, and I just list them all and then I check in when I can. So remaining, um, I had zero for groceries. Gas, I still have my 30. Spending, I spent seven um, and I had 15, so that leaves me with $8. And then nothing was in budgeted, so that's still nothing. And then this is how I looked when I did my cash envelope stuffing. So that was for April 3rd to April 9th. Okay, then we move on to April 10th to the 16th. So I'm just gonna write my same categories again. Groceries, gas, spending, and unbudgeted. Okay, so where I get this from, I just pull in my paycheck. So if you recall from my last paycheck video, we stuffed groceries with 150. So they're gonna get 150. Gas got $40. 
So they'll just get 40 here. Spending, got 30. And then we don't plan anything for unbudgeted. Okay. So I went grocery shopping and there was literally nothing on the shelves and whatever was on the shelf was not what I normally pay. I normally go for the cheap stuff, but that was not an option. So I spent the whole 150. I even went over this and I had to dip into my spending money. So that's all gone, but at least I have enough for like the month. So that's a plus gas i did go to the gas station and i spent 15 dollars, and that filled up my tank which is ridiculous that's like wow gas prices um and then for spending i spent a total um let's see so for my spending i was five dollars over for my groceries and I covered that five dollars with my spending money then I have an easy pass if you don't know what that is it's like a toll booth like when you drive your car through tolls um so I had to replenish my easy pass and that was ten dollars then I had to do laundry at the laundromat and that was another ten dollars and then I went to Dollar Tree and I got like I don't know, like little miscellaneous things that I just pick up from Dollar Tree and I spent $8 in there. So for spending, I have a total of $33 that I spent. And then for unbudgeted, I did not spend anything, which is great. So that is still zero. So now let's see where we land. Groceries, add 150, spent 150, so that should be zero. And then this is my grocery envelope and it's completely empty so that's good next gas i had 30 i added 40 and i spent 15 so i should have 55 dollars left and gas i don't track physically what money i get my gas from costco so I just put that on my debit card and I have an account for um, a checking account for my bills and a checking account just for like my debit card. And literally Costco is the only thing I pay with a debit card. So it's easy for me to see the balance and it's $55 in there. So that's good. Spending. I had eight. I'm sure you can see I had eight at the beginning. We added 30 and I spent 33. So I should have five dollars left and spending I just keep in my wallet so here's the five dollars and that's correct so that's nice just put that back in here and then unbudgeted still remains zero which is great so me looking at this I just want to always make sure since it is the 17th and I'm not getting paid again to the 24th, I want to make sure that I would have enough money just to get through the week. And this looks good to me. I'm not going anywhere. I'm literally staying in the house. So I just won't do any spending, but that should be enough to get me at least to my next paycheck, which is always great. So that concludes my check-in. It's really sweet and simple because nothing is going on. I don't do anything. I just sit in the house all day, but I still like to make sure that I'm on track with my budget and it gives me comfort. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. Please subscribe, like my channel if you like it, give me some feedback, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.